Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today it's already like past noon. I just had a nap, I just had a nap. Today I'm exhausted, let me explain. Last night we went out with friends late. We didn't get home till like 12.30 p.m. I took some video of where we went and what we did, so I'm gonna show you guys that. Uh, then I had to get up really early with Sam this morning. We went to do something, just stuff that he had to get done and I went to help him. And I was up at 5.30, oh, exhausted, I'm exhausted. So I went to have a nap. I actually rarely ever have naps, but when I woke up, everybody was gone. Where is everybody? <laughs> Gabby's in the bathroom. Yeah. Where were you? Outside. Doing what? Somebody wants to uh, ride. Look up the trailer so she can move poles and stuff. To the I love it. Okay. Yeah. So Somebody. That's what she's doing. So. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna have a hamburger and I'm gonna go outside with her. So last night when our family was here, we had some hamburgers and some fruit and some salad and just a bunch of treats and stuff. And um, I haven't eaten really yet this morning. So I'm starving. So while I eat this super yummy burger, I'm gonna show you guys what we did last night and then I'll meet you guys back in here in a few minutes. Well, uh, today we are doing something that we haven't done for a while. This is a rite of passage. We are going to watch the Barbie movie, but we're not just gonna go to the theater. We're gonna go to the drive-in. So we're headed to the drive-in. We've never been to this drive-in. You've never been to the drive-in? No. You know you have. Yeah. How's she been? Yeah. What did she see? Oh, I can't remember, but we went to see a movie before. We're in line. It's gonna be a while, but we're ready. We're gonna see the Barbie movie. What? They're 10 minutes away. We beat them. Oh. We always beat them. We always beat them. I don't know why, but we always beat them. Tell them, them. there's a big lineup. <laughs> tell they them there's a get in. Yeah, tell them there's a big lineup, but we'll save a spot for them. We are meeting a friends here, and we're always the first ones. And doesn't open till 8.15. It doesn't even open till 8.15 and it is 10 to 8. That's why we're early. Comment below if you've seen the Barbie movie. Have you seen the Barbie movie? Does it live up to the hype? Is it amazing? I can't wait. We're about to see it. The only one thing that I forgot was a blanket. I like to bring a blanket. I like to have I like a- I just sit on the ground because I get more. The pillow. Yeah. I cannot, fun fact, I cannot eat popcorn while I watch a movie because it's hard for me to sit and watch a movie. It's always hard for me to sit to watch a movie. It always has been my whole life. I've never loved TV and Sophie was kind of the same. She, when she was growing up, she hardly ever watched TV. drive-ins are good. You can run around and watch the movie. Yeah, but if I eat popcorn, I get restless leg syndrome so bad. I can't even sit. It's an agony for me to eat popcorn. I love popcorn at a movie. It's never worth it for me, but we're here. Um, we're in the lineup and I will show you around once we get in there. Look at this is our whole setup. We have this many people. I mean, we're gonna have this many people. <laughs> we have all these chairs. Everybody disappeared. I don't know where they went. All these people. So uh, this is the first time ever that we sat outside at the drive-in. We always sit inside. Yeah, us too. Oh, well that's fun. We haven't been, we haven't been to the drive-in in years now. It's been a couple for us. All right, so. You don't? No. Yeah, my kids I too. My you kids too. I know. You used, to, you used to put her in like the back of the of the Jeep. This is what we used to do for like when we had babies. All right, I'm excited. So we are really smart. We parked right beside the bathroom because when you're at the movie, you need to be near the bathroom. But look at, I love this. This is so cool. Anyway, so we're outside. The movie's starting. And we're sitting outside, and we can't really hear it very well from the car. It's starting. All right, so we watched the we watched the Barbie movie, worst movie on earth. Like none none of us liked it except for Gabby and Kate. But me and Julia had a fun time. They, I, they say they liked it. I think they're just being teenagers and just faking it. It was the worst movie. I don't even know how people survived that at the very beginning. But <laughs> 10 minutes in, I hear Sam say, I hate this movie. <laughs> and then I hear Scott say, I just want to poke my eyes out with a stick. <laughs> Jen and I were just laughing because I swear we felt the same way. Like it was so bad. But Misery Loves Company and we got through it. It was awful. It was. Julia, we're laughing. 
So, yeah, Sophie and Julia like, were just hanging out. When I drink water, it went up my nose. It <laughs> went out my nose. Well, you had to make your own fun at this movie because it was not fun. <laughs> anyway, comment below if you liked it. And if you did like it, what the heck was the point of that movie? What was what was the moral in that story? It was insane. Like, I don't feel like it. What <laughs> the heck? Julia said probably the worst movie she's ever seen. And... <laughs> I have to agree with her. All right, well, I found Sophie. I love, I love energy. I love when like, oh, I love it. I'm obsessed. So that you did this all yourself? So how'd you get the poles in here? How'd you get the poles in here? What? I drank I love it. So I was napping and Sophie did this. So she thinks that she wants to jump over these poles, <laughs> but I love it. I think you did a really good job. Oh, the horses are all here. So that's the other thing. I was asleep and then I got the alert that the horses were in the barn. That's another thing I like about the camera system. It tells us every time the horses come in. Can you come with me to get a couple more things? Yeah. Okay. So, but wait a minute, let's see something. So. I'm worried about you riding in this arena because it's more likely that he's gonna pull a shoe because he can't really go fast here. I think you should set it up in that arena. Can you come with me to get a couple more things? Sure. I wanna make raised trot poles. Sure. Dead animal over there though. It stinks like a dead animal over there? Yeah, by the green and purple pool. Oh, I'm gonna have to investigate. She said, I'm thinking one of the chickens died. And I said, well, why are you thinking that? And she goes, because it smells like a dead animal. <laughs> like, duh. You see anything? So, I'm like always worried about predators. And we have our chickens in this coop that no predators can really get in. Not really, but I mean, if anybody wanted to get in, they could probably get in. But we have it like all chicken predator proofed as much as we can. But then when I was out here today, right at the door, I see feathers. And then I see feathers like all over. And that stressed me out a bit, but I do know that they can shake and feathers can come out. Let's count them. All right, we just counted and we're actually missing. Oh no, the brown one's here. All of our chickens are accounted for. It's all good. Dig out what? The blocks. The blocks. I also wanted to dig out the, the pool to put in the horses shelter. See, we have a, uh, in the horses area, we have another. Found it. Oh yeah, there's one cone. Here, grab it. I don't want it. Um, oh, thank you, I can't do it with one hand. Uh, because I thought they love swimming, but it's actually fall now. I want all four. All right, here. Beautiful? It's so beautiful. I'm so proud of you. I love that you're motivated. Gabby is like sleeping, no. <laughs> Gabby's awake, but she's in the bathroom. Because she just woke up. Yeah, having a shower. No, I'm not catching your horse, but look at honey always stays close wherever Sophie is. If she sees Sophie in a field somewhere, uh -huh. she always stays close because she gets excited to do stuff. If this was not a horse field, I would make this. I don't know if you guys can see. It's like a little hill. It's like a little rock hill. It goes down. Let's see if I can get you guys to see. If it wasn't a horse field, I would plant this with so many pretty flowers. Move out of the way. And it would be my garden area. Sophie's taking a picture to send to her coach. It looks great. Oh yeah, it looks really cool. It actually looks better in real life. You can see it. See, it looks better. Great. Yeah, I love it. Okay, so I am. I can literally take all the branches off those tree branches that we put in the goat thing. Yeah. And use those as poles. Yeah. We have enough poles. Okay, all so. Right, see you in like 10 minutes. All right, I'll see you in ten minutes. <laughs> So I am one of those people who has to have sleep. I literally cannot handle no sleep. When I don't have sleep, it shuts me down. Like I just don't feel good at all. I feel weak and like something's missing. And when I don't have energy, because I have energy all the time, it feels weird. It feels like, it feels like, like I can't imagine what it would be like to be sick and to have no energy because I always have energy. So when I don't, I feel lost. I feel confused. I feel like, what the heck is happening here? Because I just don't feel good. I am not gonna let the loss of my energy today 
takeaway from all the things that I want to get done. We're really uh, loving doing like renovations. I don't know if renovations covers like just changing things or decorating. I don't know if that's the right word I'm using, but I've been loving it. And I want to do the front porch. My, my sister and my nieces were here yesterday. We hung out there for a long time. It was so comfy and so beautiful and so private and so amazing. And even they loved it. And we might have a party this weekend. And I want to be ready for that. I want to have like a private, nice space where people can go. So I'm looking for all the stuff. Like we used to, uh, one of the first houses, Sam, the first house Sam and I bought together was this big, huge Victorian house, not a farm. And we loved it and we had a really nice porch and we had like a nice couch out there and lots of fancy stuff. But then we moved. I have like random things like these, these crates, these old milk crates, but I don't know if I want that vibe. I had a rug right here before we put this green rug here. And now I don't know where that rug is. I've been Pinteresting a bunch of ideas, but they have furniture. You know how you can make, make furniture out of skids? I love the idea of that as well. I honestly don't know what I did with that carpet. I don't think I put it in here. But while I'm in here, I wanna look and see if I can find some lattice. I have so many ideas in my mind, but I'm not sure which way I wanna go. Uh, but if I can find some things already here on this farm, then I'll use those. And if I can't, then I'll just buy what I really wanna make. All right, so this is the area. Well, oh look, we have tons of that fencing already. Why did we get so much more? Oh my gosh, we have so much fencing. I don't know why I don't look in here all the time before I buy stuff. I don't know what these things are for. All right, we're looking for lattice, friends. Let's see. That's cute. I love that. I love the color of it. I love how rusty, is it just a skid? It's cute. I don't know what I would use it for yet though. But actually I do know what I would use it for. <gasps> I'm taking that. There's a project that I wanna do and I need something exactly like that. Oh my goodness. I literally get terrified walking in here. <laughs> Especially when nobody knows I'm here. All right, okay, so there's some plywood stuff over there, but no lattice. I really like these old boards too, like these nice soft boards. You could totally make shelves with all, all this. Get out, don't come in here. This is a dangerous area, come on. All right, so if I can finish one project today, I probably can't finish one project today because I need some more things, but I'm gonna I'm definitely going to use this. So if you missed the video where I showed the front porch, and this is the place I want to renovate next, um, the very first thing I have to do is clean it because it'd be looking gross. And there's very clearly two specific spaces out here. It's almost divided into two because there's a door between. So I could do two different spaces. I also have really long lounge chairs that match this, this wicker furniture. What, so one thing I know I want to do is I want to close off this section. I want to like turn the furniture or at least some of it so that it goes against this. So that when, and then I want to hang something here for privacy, but not just privacy, but to make it look cozy. And then I want to put a carpet on the ground, which I have a carpet that matches these pillows, matches all of this. So I'm going to work on that. I actually have these, these curtains. Let me show you. And I love these things. Got some help. I need to clean before I can do anything. I need to find my carpet. Do you know where the carpet is that goes with this? No. There was a carpet with it? Yeah, see? I love I it. It's too fenced in. I like it. I like something cozy. I yeah, like it, well, and I have two around. of them. Okay. So, and then for this thing, 
I'm thinking, you know how Put they... Put it in the field and let Honey walk on it. <laughs> oh, no, it's so She's pretty. A goat. Yeah, she is like she a, goat. a goat. So I was thinking like... She's the size of a goat. To hang it up. Oh. That's hideous. Okay, maybe not here, but to hang it up. I'd like it a bit wider for here, but to hang it up and then hang uh, pots on it and put succulents in there. You guys know how... I don't even... Is that a flower? Yeah, they're like, yeah, but fake suc succulents, just so it's like a decoration. All right, so that is my plan for now. I want to come out here and clean this all up. And then there's this area over here that I have no plan for. I'm going to clean up the garden. That's a huge thing. All of this has to wait till I have energy. I don't know how people can live without energy. <laughs> It just feels awful. Um, clean up this garden that's in the front here. It's a huge mess. And then I don't know what I want to put in the front here. I was thinking like a table or something, but Sam and I are not table people really. We like couches and and like I like coffee tables and stuff like that. I don't know. Anyway, that's all I have planned so far. Oh, there's Gabby. <laughs> She's alive. Star must have ran off before Sophie got here. Today is the day that this thing comes off. Because I showed you guys in another video, the horses are biting it, breaking into pieces, and taking it off. So obviously they don't like it. So this is what's gonna happen here. I have to come back and, and put it up, like actually secure it. But this is gonna go right against the fence here. And it's going to protect the goats from getting out. It's not going to protect the horses from putting their feet or their body parts through the top half. But it is going to protect the goats from going through. And I'm sure that they could climb up there and jump out if they absolutely wanted to. I feel like there's a lot going on in our little farm that keeps them happy. And I don't think they're going to try and do that. But what do I know? I don't know the goats that well. But anyway, that is what I've got going on. For now, I'm gonna get my zip ties and do that again, do it. I like the look of it better than the green stuff. I like that I can put my hands through there. I just don't want any of that green mesh stuff, like netting stuff, in my horse's belly. But like many things on this farm, I get started with a project and then I have to stop because I have other things that I have to do. I'm gonna go and watch my girl ride. I'm gonna watch her ride. I wanna ride too, but we'll probably ride tomorrow on the trail. I'm a trail riding girl, you guys. Oh, I love your chair, Gabby. I'm gonna grab a chair. Oh, Sophie says she found another mushroom. It's that big white thing. Where? Right there. Right there. I'm obsessed. In right the sun. Here. Oh, it's in the field. I don't know if those are good for horses, so I'm gonna take that thing out. <laughs> but we're like, we are the Puffer mushroom family. All right, I am sitting in the shade of a tree. I'm gonna set up all of our uh, riding chairs here and watch my girl ride. So I went to edit Sophie's lesson video yesterday and I d accidentally deleted it. And my computer does this weird thing where if the file's really big, it doesn't send it to the recycle box. It just deletes it. Stop rolling in stuff, Ellie. And that's it, you guys, it's all done. I put the fence up. I'm, I'm getting really good at fences. Do you think I'm getting good at fences? Hey, buddy. She was having a really good day. He's just calm and relaxed and feeling really good today, or feeling at least normal. He's been traveling around. Ha, huh, you didn't think I could do it, did you? So one other thing that I really want to make, what are you looking at? Well, I'm not redoing it. <laughs> um, anyways, I also want to put a bench here. So I've seen some on Pinterest that I really like. Just like a bench because Gabby has like a bunch of buckets that she leaves out here all the time to soak Chino's feet. And I want to like be able to sit down out here and... Yeah, we want to change this with wood. They're over here. They're Some. On the yeah, that's where they always sit. I love it. <laughs> Somebody's crying. Uh oh. What's wrong with him? All right, so the baby is the boy is. Oh my gosh. What? 
Where's the... Come on. Well, what are you doing over there, you dumbo? <laughs> He's so funny. He's so loud. Come on. Your family is over here. Come on. Come on. Will you come over here? Come on. Oh my goodness. Willow's like, why did you ever Willow's like, why did you ever get those things? Willow, don't bite her. <laughs> That's not even his mom. Isn't that the sweetest though? Oh yeah, it is his mom. Hey, Willow! Ah <laughs> guys, come on. Come on, your mom is here. It's okay. Do you hear her though? She's like, it's okay, it's okay. He's like, ah! And she's like, it's okay. Come on, she says, come on. Get out of Willow's butt. I don't know if he can get out through the fence. He's still a little sore from his procedure. Yeah, I don't know, I think that's probably the problem. <laughs> he, hasn't, he hasn't been the same since that happened to him. He's good, we got him. He's with his mama now. I am still loving, I love this. I love like we have a little farmyard here. If there's one thing I've learned since we moved to this house, like our other house it didn't even feel like real farming. To be honest, this feels like real farming. But if there's one thing I learned, it's that on a farm, on a real farm, there's always a fence to fix and always a goat in trouble. That's what I've learned. Don't you know that you're beautiful?